All right, guys, just a updated uh, track video here. So it's a track we're working on. Many of you, once you receive your track kits, the first step that we recommend is uh, going ahead and putting that track down on the table, getting it screwed down. And we'll jump right into the power tap setup here. So we have our power taps, which are pre-made. Um, we solder these to the tin copper wire that we include in the kits. This one is laid out in a way that uh, we use the black wire for the negative, which is always on the passenger side. And then we like to use colored wire for each lane so that underneath every yellow wire underneath is a hot wire for the yellow lane. Same goes for blue, white, and red. Just keeps it easy for us, but this track is gonna run clockwise. So we have laid it out with um, the colored side on the driver's side, which is always gonna be your hot side. If you run lane switches, that's fine. Just make sure that all of your lanes have the hot side on the driver's side. Pick one direction and then let the switch reverse that direction. But it's basically, once these guys are soldered up, you can drop it down in place. You can see that one drop down in place there. If you're not comfortable soldering them into place, which I know a lot of people are just terrified to put a soldering iron near their new track, um, you know, don't worry. You can bend this guy. You can put a little bit of a bend in there and that will allow you to press that in there. I do highly recommend soldering them. Um, just as you can see, that one is sitting down in there. It will move around. Um, that's why we solder them, but for the most part, everywhere on your track that you have um, taps or drops, you will repeat this step. And on this particular track here, you can see there's a set here, there's one on this side and one on that side, and that's because that is one piece. So we will power that in one spot. Same with this one, it's all of our internal piece. This outer one is the horseshoe piece, okay? A lot of our track kits are much smaller pieces. Um, we can walk over here real quick to a kit track that's going in the work. So this track, every single piece will have an area for taps. Now, when you assemble these, you don't have to rail every single piece individually. You can rail multiple pieces together and that will minimize the amount of power drops that you need to have. You will still need to power that section, which will be called a power tap, but you do not need to run multiple drops on it. So. Uh, just a you know, updated video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. The next step is going to be us installing our push lock terminals, which we have right over here. So these guys, we have color coded them and it's, it's exactly the way the track's set up. You have your, your negative for the yellow lane you're positive for yellow, negative for blue, positive for blue. These will go underneath each section that has drops and it will allow us to hook these wires into one side, these wires into the other side, and that will join these two pieces of track together and allow current to flow through them. Those blocks also have extra ports which allow us to run wires from our driver's station. It also allows us to jump multiple sections together, which is where the power runs from the main straight to the taps or however you have it set up. But that's, that's how we do it. And uh, I'll have another video once we get those up underneath there and mounted, but uh, that's it.